The water's up, you guys, down here on the Ohio River, as you can see. Looking to catch some sulgur. It's uh, almost January. We've had a really nice warm spell. Been down here catching some fish, but we've had a little water spike, so hopefully they're still here. We're gonna throw out some jigs, a 3 8 ounce jig head, and three inch paddle tail swim bait. And I'm gonna show you guys how I catch these sulgur out here this time of year. It can be a good bite. So let's get to it. I'll show you the rod and line and everything I'm using. Should be a good day, hopefully. Water still has some good clarity to it. But anyway, let's get on some of the Ohio River's most prized winter fish. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start casting out here. Uh, that's actually a two and a half inch thread fin shad. And it's my favorite color for down here, black in the wintertime, overcast days. It makes a silhouette the fish can see, especially in this clear water. 10 pound braid with a 12 pound monofilament leader. And this is a medium heavy one piece graphite rod for sensitivity. There we go. We got something on. All I was doing was a super slow retrieve. And I'll tell you why, this current's a little bit stronger than it has been. And I need to keep my jig closer to the bottom. I'm just trying to stay within six inches to two feet off the bottom. Damn, we got him. Short fish, he won't keep. But definitely our first fish. Yeah, I mean, I'm casting that out, letting it sink, and then just a super slow retrieve right now. Look at that. That's really slow. Hopefully, we get on a bunch more. That's a snag. Yeah, gonna lose a lot of jigs down here, that's for sure. There's another one. Easy, buddy. He might be short. They gotta be 14 to keep. Hey, easy. Wow, he's just over 14. We'll keep this guy. Cut that one up shallow. It's a good one. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. Beautiful fish. 
fish. Look at the teeth on these guys. I don't know if you can see them or not. Little vampires. I know he's a keeper, but don't curl your tail. They curl their tail, try to make themselves 13 inches. Yeah, he's about 16 inches. So he'll keep. Yeah. I just moved down a little bit. We hooked us another sauger. Where's yeah? Still can't get over how clear this water is. Gosh, these things got some pretty good fight to them. Oh yeah. Get in there, buddy. It's a good one. That's a thick one there. Look how pretty they are. Look at the camouflage. I mean, you can see the rocks. How they would camouflage in. Interesting. This thing's also got a really sharp gill plate right there that will break your line. That's why I use a, uh, I use braid with a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader. Nice fish, he's definitely a keeper. All right, let's get a better look at this guy. Look at them teeth. Beautiful sauger. There we go. I've been tying them to this rock so the waves don't steal them. bring any ice and I don't want to dump my lures out of my bucket yeah it'll be all right right there I moved a little bit farther down. I'm up here on a shallow flat. They like this flat as it starts getting later. Oh yeah, he's gonna be short. short fish but we'll take it 
plump little guys. Today, that's for sure. I can't complain because we're catching fish. All right, y'all, look how much this water has come up. I've been sitting here casting, I was looking around like, where's my fish? There's no way I put them out this far. I'm about to get water in my boots. The seam to have turned off. And the current's a lot stronger, so we might get it home and clean these guys up. Throw some in the grease. said that we're gonna get out of here catch another one he's just a short guy though dang it now I'm gonna have to stay all right one more cast One more cast is going to turn into one more hour. So, the other day the bite was hot and a bunch of short fish. Today the bite was a little slower, but we got some quality fish anyway. So, go ahead and load up, and get to the house, and clean these fish up. All right, y'all made it back to the house, getting ready to clean these up. But I tell you what, I am tired. I did a ton of casting, so probably just gonna clean these up for the night, get them vacuum sealed and put them in the freezer and cook these guys up later. But definitely wanna show you guys how I clean these auger. Uh, it's not real hard, but better to be delicate than just slap the sides off. Try to preserve all the meat you can. So let's go ahead and try to self film, clean these guys up. <clears throat> Go ahead and do an angled incision right there. I'm just gonna run the tip of this knife down the back. All the way down to the tail. Now I'm just gonna slowly work the backbone. Till I get down to the ribs. All right. Got that meat worked off the backbone. Now we're going to remove the ribs. Thank <laughs> you. 
got it. There's a rib cage, we don't need that. Now to get the skin off, I'm gonna use a rag to hold the fish so it don't slide on me. Watch out, cat. All right, y'all, that's going to do it. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something. If you did, like and subscribe. I'll leave a few more video links for you to watch. Check out on my channel, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.